I am so impossibly excited that I finally have the Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries complete collection. So I will do an overview of the box set, but very briefly, I waited such a long time for this to arrive because I bought it from a seller on eBay, brand new. After 13 days, they still hadn't dispatched it. And I ended up getting a refund and I bought it from somebody else and it arrived within 48 hours. So if you're in the UK and you're going to buy this on eBay, check the seller's reviews. I don't usually do that. Really regret not doing that. But the point being, one, proceed with caution if you buy it on eBay. And two, I've waited a very long time for this and I'm absolutely overjoyed that it's arrived. I also want to mention the cellophane it came in had a sticker on it saying that it's actually Region 4, but it's Region 2 uh, region two compatible. And just to confirm, also here's the back of the box. That is the case. It is a Region 4 Australian release, but it works absolutely fine in the UK without needing to change any settings at all, which is very nice. So this is the side. I was quite delighted to find that actually we have three separate collections. This worked out really well for me because I only have six left to watch and it just so happens that those six are in their own little DVD. I will say this is expensive. It's almost three figures. Depending on where you get it from, it can breach the £100 mark. But for 18 films, that's not so bad. So there we have the three separate DVD collections and just so you can see which films are inside each one. You have A Bone to Pick, Real Murders, Three Bedrooms, One Corpse, The Julius House, Dead Over Heels and A Bundle of Trouble in the first one. I will look inside the DVDs in a moment. And then this one we have Last Seen Alive, Reap What You Sow. The Disappearing Game, A Game of Cat and Mouse, An Inheritance to Die For, and A Very Foul Play. And A Very Foul Play was the last one that I watched. And these six are the ones that I bought the box set for. Heist and Seek, Reunited and It Feels So Deadly, How to Con a Con, Till Death Do Us Part, Honeymoon, Honey Murder, and Haunted by Murder. And if anybody cares, there we have the backs of these two DVDs as well. The insides of the cases are identical across the board. This is the biggest bugbear and it's such a small thing to be irked about. But this is the first film, A Bone to Pick, and I feel like it should be at the top spot, not there. It's there because it's on top, but I, in the six film collection that uh, I bought this for, I actually moved them around and put the first film at the top because I just feel like it should be I'm not actually annoyed by that, just as a, a point of observation. Uh, and we have, of course, the, the things there. It's quite flimsy. I mean, as you can see there, that's just popped out of place, which I will move back into place. There we go. Couldn't do it with one hand. Um, but yeah, I feel the cases, when I try and close them, are kind of flimsy. But it's not, it's not too bad but I don't know if this is like standard Australian DVD case and what they're all like, or if it's just um, with these particular DVDs. But they're not, they're not too flimsy, but certainly they could be stronger. Behind the DVDs, we have uh, a look at some of the other Hallmark mysteries. Garage Sale Mysteries I absolutely love. I've just finished watching Mystery 101. Uh, Picture Perfect Mysteries are not too bad. These are, if you're interested, available from this Australian website, never heard of it. Um, but it looks like I might have to do some more Region 4 imports because these are just impossible to get hold of in the UK. Despite the fact that it took me a very long time to get hold of these and they're not the cheapest, I'm very, very excited. And I have to say the quality of the actual cases, the case art, the box itself, not too bad, no real complaints from me. Yes, it is kind of expensive, especially since I only really bought it for six of the films, but I do love this series so much that I was I was happy enough to do that. But for 18 films, it's not too bad at all. If you've watched the Aurora Tea Garden series or you've watched some of them and you're considering getting the box set, I'd say it's, it's certainly worth it. I think the US release might be slightly different, at least the cover design looks different. I don't know if it's got the same 
three DVD layout or anything. Uh, if anybody knows that, please feel free to share that information. But certainly this Australian release with UK compatibility is uh, very delightful. I'm very happy with it. And ultimately, I I'm looking forward to watching those six films. As I said, they do play fine. I have tested them before I recorded this because I wanted to confirm that that was the case and I'm, I'm going to be watching one pretty much as soon as I stop recording this video. Very excited to, to watch uh, the next one and hopefully this is useful. If you've been considering getting hold of it, I, I'm certainly very glad that I did and I think, albeit expensive, it's worth the money. <laughs>